Hey guys, so today we're talking about the only three tie knots you need to know about. All right guys, welcome back. And I'm sure by the intro of that video, we have offended some of you because I'm sure a lot of you guys are tie connoisseurs out there and know more than three tie knots. But in all honesty, we think that there are only three tie knots you actually need to know how to tie. So before we tell you the three tie knots we think you need to know, I want you to comment in the section below your favorite tie knot. Just to, you know, just for a little bit, have a little bit of fun. Don't wait till we name them, because that's cheating. Just Do it before this video. Right Do now. it right now. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. You better comment. Seven. Eight. One last chance. Let's go. All right, 10. All right, so the three tie knots you guys need to know are the Prince Albert, the foreign hand, and the half Windsor. If you guys know what a foreign hand is, it's pretty much the first tie knot everyone learns how to tie. It's very, very simple. It's very small, very neat. Very standard. Yes. It goes really well with button down collars because there's not much of a gap. So a nice small tie knot looks good. It also goes really well with jackets that are, that are buttoned really high. So if you, if you still use a three button coat, which you shouldn't, it'll go really well with that because it's nice and trimmed up top. And the Prince Albert, if you don't already know, is what we used to call a double wrap because we didn't know the name for it when we first started this. But it's a foreign hand except you wrap it around twice when you're going through. We'll show you how that looks as well. And then if you do have you know, more space in your collar and a wider, I guess, breasted jacket, you want to go half Windsor but no bigger than a half Windsor. Yeah, yeah. so today I'm wearing a half Windsor knot. You know, I'm wearing a semi-spread collar. I feel like it gives it a nice symmetrical look. Um, it's very, very seamless. It's kind of more of your, I think, business attire, tie knot, if, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, the Prince Albert would be more of your, like, your fun of the tie knots. Your, Fashion your, forward. Yeah, I mean, I think Sue Supply, the guys at Sue Supply made it very, very popular. If you have texture in your tie, then uh, the Prince Albert's gonna look really cool because it gets, it's like, it gives it like a little bit of a, of a bulk, I guess, you know? Right, uh, it gives the foreign hand some substance. Yes. It's, it still looks like a foreign hand, but there's like a little extra thickness to fill out a collar if, if need be. Yeah, on the other hand, if, you, if you're doing a half Windsor, you wanna stay away from like a texture tie because it is gonna make it look like a full Windsor. So it's gonna make the V look extra big, you know? You don't want that, guys, because it just, it just looks distracting to anybody who's looking at, at your shirt, at your tie knot, and at your suit. So the reason behind this video is because we've seen a lot recently of, you know, the Trinity knot, the like Kingsley knot, they all have very like, Princeful names, I guess, <laughs> but they're just massive. They look like you've like French braided your sister's hair into yeah. your tie knot. I mean, I get that they're cool, but there's really no need to be doing origami on your tie yeah, knot. Yeah, like, makes sense. It, it, people that I guess don't understand like fit, fashion, and look, it looks cool to them because it's something different that they've never seen and is woven in a cool way. But it just, I mean, in my opinion, it it pulls away from the rest of your outfit. I think it looks great on Instagram. Yeah. It looks great in photos, um, you know, cause it's a super close up shot, but in person, it just looks very distracting and very like, 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 like childish. Yes. So just don't do it guys. Sorry guys, it if sucks. you guys have done it, we're sorry. We don't mean to offend anybody, but stop doing it. I mean, I've done it dude, yeah. right? I mean, I tried it out cause yeah. it looked cool on Instagram. So you know, why not? And just as an added like bonus to this video, there's two other things that you guys shouldn't be doing is a clip-on tie, you guys should never wear a clip-on tie. Every gentleman should at least know how to do one tie knot, okay? So this video, we're gonna show you three. If you can learn one of those, you're good. Now the second thing, guys, you should never be wearing a wooden tie or like a plastic tie or any of those hex, uh, tie. hex tie type things. I mean, they're just very distracting again. They look very childish. They're just, I'm personally, I don't like them, dude. I could say like, I'm, I'm, hating, I'm, I'm hating on them right now. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, guys. So if I sound like a hater, I'm a hater. All right, guys, so after that super long tangent about things we really don't like about other ties, uh, that pretty much wraps up the three ties you should know. If you guys don't know them, I think we have tutorials. I'll link to all those down below on how to tie these knots if you don't know already, but they're very, very simple and probably the easiest ones to learn. And just to wrap everything up, so if you're gonna go with a Prince Albert, that's gonna be your more fashion forward tie. If your suits are, you know, a little bit like, extravagant like plaids or patterns or something out of the ordinary, that's gonna be your more fun fashion forward knot. If you're wearing a semi-spread or spread collar, a Prince Albert will still work, but 
A half Windsor is actually probably the most ideal to yes. fill out that collar choice, and it works well with a wider lapel as well. Um, now, if you're the type of guy who wears a lot of button downs and denim and maybe like a cardigan and not so much uh, suits, uh, four in hand would be the way to go with that because it's more casual, it's laid back, um, it's you know kind of doesn't look too distracting and it's not that big. Yeah, totally so, agree. Um, that pretty much wraps up the video. If you guys agree with us, comment below. If you disagree with us, also comment below. Tell us your favorite tie knots. And we just want to give a quick shout out to our friends at The Dark Knot. They actually provided all the pocket squares and ties for this video. So we'll have a link to them down below. You can check them out. They're actually making very, very good quality stuff at a very reasonable price for how good the quality is. So give those guys a look. Um, we might have a discount code for you, so if we do, I'll have that in the description below. I need to check, but I'm pretty sure we do. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to comment, like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel because we really appreciate it. And uh, like us on Instagram, at Jens Lounge, hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge. And uh, send us some pictures of those tie knots, guys. Cheers.